So I've made this video in the past, like how would I start with $5,000? And when I started back in 2005, $5,000 bought you a whole lot more stuff. Uh, but nowadays it's not buying you that much. So this video is kind of like, what would I start with knowing everything that I know currently for my current market? Uh, what would I start with post COVID? Are you thinking of starting a rental business or growing your rental business? At Recipe, we help young, hungry entrepreneurs like you start their own business. Our experience of over 15 years as rental business owners and professional digital marketers make us the greatest team to help other people launch their own profitable business through website, marketing, and consulting services. Go to recipe.com to start or grow your rental business today. A quick disclaimer, I live in kind of a rural suburban market. So pole tents basically go everywhere. Uh, some people will say that you should start off with at least a few frame tents. I think pole tents for most places work very well. It's cheaper to get into and it's just easy to do if you have to do it by yourself. So with that being said, I would start with pole tents, 20 wide pole tents. I would get a 20 by 20 and a 20 by 30 pole tent. When I first began, I made my side poles and center poles myself. It's actually a lot cheaper to do it that way. What I did is I bought 14 foot two by fours, uh, cut them to seven feet, pre-drilled a hole and stuck a nine inch nail in there that I cut off the head off of. So instead of buying them like this, I just made them. I also made center poles, which I bought fencing from Lowe's. Uh, th this is the top of the fence. See how it's tapered? Uh, it all goes, you know, like you can then just make as many lengths as you want. I found out the height from the manufacturer and made my own uh, center poles out of this fencing stuff. Now what I did is I took that same nine inch nail cut off the head, or no, actually I didn't cut off the head, cut off the point, and I welded that nail to a washer. You know, on the un underside of this is the head that was welded to the, you know, it's since broken off and loose or whatever. The nail was welded to the washer, and then the washer was nailed, or the washer was welded to the pipe. Now I have center poles that I could pit, fit in the, an SUV or a truck or whatever, uh, and that was all very cheap. So to save money, I made my own side poles and center poles. I mean, if you got the money, just, just you know, get the real ones because these are kind of flimsy. Uh, but it saved me a lot of money in the beginning. So 20 by 20, 20 by 30. What are you going to get those out for? Anywhere from $200 to $400, depending on your market. Uh, but you're going to need stuff to go under it. Most people don't just rent a tent. I mean, sometimes they do but most of the time they're renting it with something. So I would buy enough chairs to fill about 75% of each one of those tents. So you're looking at 50 to fill it 100%, 50 chairs for a 20 by 20, 75 chairs for a uh, 20 by 30. That's 125 chairs. I would just get hundred chairs. Uh, and when people call you and say, I need a tent for 75 people, and then someone calls and says, I need a tent for 50 people, sure, you're gonna be short 25 chairs, but you can kind of talk one of them down into being like, well, you know, not a lot of people show up all at once, people come and go, and this and that, uh, and you try to get 50 chairs out to each. Tables wise, this is the most popular table in the rental business, an eight foot banquet table. Uh, let's see, six of them going to 20 by 20, eight of them going to 20 by 30, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 tables. I mean, I'd get 14 tables. Yeah, not, they're not all going to be used for seating, but you can say, well, you need two for food and drinks or whatever. Uh, sides, I would skip on the sides for now because sides are expensive. i just go over the first season without getting sides. And then I would add sides as I got more money because, you know, they're $250 for a 7 by 20 section. And you need four of them for a 20 by 20. You need five of them for a 20 by 30. So that starts to add up quite a bit. Uh, and not every party is going to want sides. You're more likely going to get most parties that don't want them. 
So just get those later on. So yeah, that's what I would start with. 20 by 20, 20 by 30, 100 chairs, 14 tables. Uh, then if I had a little bit of extra money, I'd go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and just buy some sort of cheap lighting to get me through. I'd eventually change my lighting system. Um, but just for a 20 by 20, 20 by 30, some string lights from there or Walmart or whatever, that'll get you a little bit of extra money on each job. Let's face it, most parties aren't just during the day, they go into the night. And all this can be accomplished with an SUV, a van, a pickup truck. You can put all these tents up by yourself. You can start getting some money rolling, some money going, and start taking that money, putting it away, and then buying more. Uh, start meeting people, start hiring people to come out and help you. Uh, start building everything up so that uh, once you do have more stuff, you have some reliable people that will go out with you and set everything up. But in the beginning, just 20 by 20, 20 by 30, it's going to uh, be easier to do. What am I trying to say? The 20 by 20, 20 by 30, if you have to, you can put it up by yourself. Once you start getting bigger than that or start doing a lot of jobs in a day, you're going to need people. But yeah, it sounds easy, but it's no longer cheap because post COVID, everything went up. I did the math on all this. It's about ten to eleven thousand dollars to get all this stuff to start. Where back when I when I first began, I spent I think less than five thousand dollars for a twenty by twenty, twenty by thirty, twenty by forty, a hundred chairs and ten tables. Uh, you can't do that anymore. So it is more expensive to start, but it is still I you know I think it's still a good business to start, even though it's gotten more expensive. There's going to be a lot of people that are leaving the, the business, people who were poorly uh, managed, uh, people who were out of garages, who had prices that were too low uh, because they could back then. But now you kind of kind of be appropriately priced. Don't price yourself too low when you first start out. Price yourself exactly at what the big guys are pricing themselves at. You'll still get the business. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to be afraid that you're not going to get it. Just price yourself where they're priced because obviously they're priced there for a reason so they can pay their bills and pay their employees and stay in business. And that's what you wanna be able to do. Uh, just because you got two tents does not mean you should be undercutting everyone. You know, get that money um, because as you grow, that money is gonna be more important to sustain how large you get. Thanks for watching. Are you thinking of starting a rental business or growing your rental business? At Recipe, we help young, hungry entrepreneurs like you start their own business. Our experience of over 15 years as rental business owners and professional digital marketers make us the greatest team to help other people launch their own profitable business through website, marketing, and consulting services. Go to recipe.com to start or grow your rental business today.